Hey there, friends. It's a month 906 of working from home for most of us. And, you know, there's been a lot of evolution and change in the way that we do things. Maybe you're like me. Our organization just switched over from Zoom to Teams. And the one thing that I found was that I really wasn't happy with the way that I looked on camera. It was a lot of shadows. I looked unhappy. And it seemed like somehow on Zoom I was enjoying myself more, even though, realistically, I liked the meetings just the same. I couldn't figure it out because Zoom just seemed to work better. And when it didn't work, there were controls that let me improve things. And Teams didn't have that. Until I found the secret menu that makes it all work. And I'm glad to share it with you too. If you're not happy with the way you look on Teams, you can get camera controls that are 10 times better than the ones that are on Zoom. It'll make your IT department happy because they like Teams better anyway. Gives them more control. But don't take my word for it. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now look, you can go into the settings in Teams. You can go to Devices. You can scroll all the way down. And you're going to see a video preview like the one that I'm about to show you. But there's nothing else there there's no way to make a change. The secret is, you don't want to use Teams to adjust your video, you want to use Skype. You might remember Skype from about five years ago when you were trying to video conference with somebody, and it wasn't so great back then. But for some reason, it's in included in every version of Windows 10, and the camera controls are really good. Maybe it's because webcams weren't as good five years ago, but it's got all these controls that Teams doesn't have. And for some bizarre reason, whatever the changes you make in Skype will work in Teams. All you do is go into Skype, click on the icon at the top left to go into Settings. You'll see this. When you click on Audio Video, you can go to Webcam Settings. Here you'll find a ton of settings, I mean more than you could ever possibly need. And you can also cancel, you can go back to default. It's super easy to change what you're looking for. You can even change your camera's zoom, which has been a popular request from cameras that just have too wide of a field. Here's a pro tip. If you look down at your taskbar, you'll see two Skype icons. Click between them to go between the adjustments and the live video. That way you can actually watch what you're doing and it makes sense instead of just kind of trial and error. Remember, when you're done, press OK. This is basically what I looked like on Teams before the adjustments. You know, they're way too dark, too much contrast. It didn't really work out for anybody. And my coworkers complained. This is after I made adjustments to try to improve the Teams camera. As you can see, well, look, you know, webcam footage is never going to be perfect, but this is a lot, lot better. You know, moving from Zoom to Teams is an adjustment, but it's a good one because Teams really is a great product. And I'm glad I made the change, especially now that my coworkers can see it. Making changes to your camera is easy, and now you know how to do it.